Yo, Real 92 3 Man Bootleg Kev, DJ Head, special guest. One of the greatest MCs on the face of the fucking planet, Crooked Eye, is here, ladies and gentlemen. Man, good looking, man. How y'all doing? The man? lyrical, First spiritual foremost, miracle. West Coast. It's West Coast. Hey, everybody, <laughs> everybody out there listening, hope y'all having a good time. I already know y'all solid because you're listening to Bootleg Kevin, DJ Head. You feel me? West Yo, Coast. I ain't even got to ask. It's crook. Uh, it's you know, it. Ten years ago, you started something... Uh, Back when blogs were really, a th man, I remember the Nile Rights, the two dope boys, mm -hmm. hitting that West shit Coast every Riders. single week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you had the weekly series. You dropped a song every week yes, for 52 sir. weeks. I believe it was the year Obama got elected. Mm -hmm. It was during that whole time. You're right. Um, and now you're doing it again, 10 years later. 10 years later, bro. Um, yeah, I, I kind of innovated that. Well, I did. I ain't going to even put no sugar on it. I innovated right. that. You know what I mean? I created that. That uh, schedule of music coming out once a week, staying in the people's face, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. Um, I, millions of I feel like millions of rappers have done it since. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot have. You, <laughs> you know start, I mean? you started something for sure. And um, it took me to the first freshman cover. You know what I mean? Double XL freshman cover, um, and it was just dope. So I, I, what I missed about it was connecting with the people. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm here to connect with people. And I just miss talking to people once a week about whatever we wanted to talk about in our own little world because we created a community with the series. So it's like once a week I could talk to the people directly. I can ignore what's going on in the music business, ignore the business side, right. you know what I mean, and get right with the creative side once a week. So I decided to bring it back, and now it's just lit. Like I ain't even know how many people miss the series. Facts. You know I, think, what I'm I think people just miss quality bars. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a it's lot of stuff. It's rough right now. It's, it's a little rough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a lot of dolls and Nigerian a lot of... Nigerian hair. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what the, Kev uh, is a big fan of all the dolls that's out right I'm now. Not, <laughs> I only like Cash Doll. The rest of the dolls I'm not too crazy about. Wait a minute. How many dolls is that's it? That's like that's five. What he asked me. I don't know. Hey, we've, we've, we've interviewed four or five. <laughs> Four or five dolls. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, who China started that doll, way? China Doll, know. Cash Doll, Cuban Doll, Dream Doll. I don't fucking know, man. Damn. Asian doll. Damn. I don't fucking know. But anyway, I think just people miss, miss Asian the Asian doll the ain't bars, even Asian, bro. by the way. Anyway. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> but no, I, I do I do definitely think, you know, obviously music has changed a lot, you know, from, from 10 years ago to now. And it's crazy to think, like, I feel old because I just remember vividly that period of, of time. Right. Um, is it, you know... Now, when you release music, are you putting these all through SoundCloud or, you know, is it going to Spotify? Because I know that's a process to just release something once a week through all the proper distribution channels and all right, that. Right, right. Well, um, yeah, I did a little, you know, partnership thing with this program that Spotify got going on over there for certain artists. You know what I mean? So, you can upload your own shit, right? Yeah, so I just was that's like, fire. you know what, let me talk to them and make sure that this is all good and boom, boom, bam, and let me just get it right. So, you know, I put them on Spotify. Um... And it's a lot of people who don't have Spotify, so, you know, I'm, I'm, they will move around eventually. Yeah. You know, but they start out exclusively on Spotify every Friday. Dope. You know what I'm saying? You know, once a week, y'all know where to find me, all the rappers out there listening to this lovely program. If you want to get in the spar with me, once a week, I'll be out there on Spotify. The weeklies, ain't nobody touching me, though, I swear to God. Hey, you, you're, not, you're not a stranger to the, to the battle and to the sparring arena, but... I always wonder, like you, you specifically, you never seem to take it personally. It's yeah. always, it's always the sport. Like, how do you, how do you manage to control, control your your emotions in that in that way? You just gotta control your emotions in life, dog. I just learned that. I made too many bad decisions in life hmm. by allowing my emotions to direct me. You know what I'm saying? So now that I know how to keep my emotions in check yeah. in life, it's real easy. Because before, it's ugly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it used to be ugly, man. we bring a whole football team out if we had to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. It's, we, had, we started the No Fly Zone damn near, you yeah. know? That's facts. I had, a, uh, I had a song called No Fly Zone with my, my boy K. Young. Shout out K. Young, man. And, yeah. uh, you know, um, Royce heard it, and he was like, yo, man, I played that song for Trick Trick, man, and now Trick Trick want to know There's can, a no-fly zone ah. in Detroit. <laughs> so, you know, boom, I sent the song over. They did the no-fly zone, yeah. their version. We had a no-fly zone. It was just like that, but that's bad for business. And like I said, I'm, I'm more of a person that likes to connect people. You know what I mean? So I'd rather, I'd rather be on Unity, you know what I mean? That's so, facts. Yeah, I, uh, but, we, yeah, we had those days. You um, know what I'm saying? You mentioned the being on the first ever freshman cover. I remember it was like you, Lupe, uh, Joel Ortiz was on that cover. Yep. Um, who else was on that cover? Was Mickey Fax on that or was he on nah, the one after? I never seen Mickey Fax on a cover. Um, but I remember like at the time, like I don't think we really realized like how, how that 
that was gonna be like such an important yeah. thing in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like Saigon was on that cover. Saigon, shout out to Saigon. Man, I miss um, Saigon, man. It was a few it was a few cats on that cover, man, that um, you know, stood the test of time. Um it was crazy. Boozy, right? Bo- Boozy. Little Boozy was Boozy on that. Was on Yo, that you cover. know what's so crazy about that cover, dog? Um, I had never met Joel Ortiz before that day. Really? Never. Never met him. And we took a million pictures and they ended up using the one. With me and him standing by each other. Right. It's like we knew each other the whole time. And then when you open up the book, the the magazine, his and my article is right next to That's each other. That's the universe. And it was like the universe was putting us together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so only if the universe could give us a new Slaughterhouse album. Hey, you know what? I, 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 I think the universe is doing the right thing by not doing it. Really? Possibly. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's strange, man. One door shuts and another one opens. Mm. I do you know enjoy, like, I, I am enjoying thoroughly, like, Joe Budden as a commentator on the culture. Media Joe? I'm enjoying Media, media Joe. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I am enjoying Media Joe. Right, right. And, you know, that's the whole thing. I mean... Royce is giving classic material right oh, now. Book Royce of Ryan, Nine, Book, Book of Ryan's of Ryan, incredible album. All the primes, the bar exams. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I started a, a group with my little brothers called Family Business, my mm-hmm. younger brothers. You know, we went to um, Detroit and did an entire album. Um, it took us about 10 days. We did an entire album top to bottom, me and my younger brothers. We walked into Eminem's studio. We played it for him. He went crazy. Yeah. He wow. went crazy. He said, I got to get involved with this somehow. And that was where we left it at. So okay. the saga continues. We'll wow. let y'all know what, what happened next yeah. on the next episode of Family yeah. Business. But now nah, it was just a great thing, a great feeling to get in there with my, my younger brothers. Mm-hmm. And that would have never happened if I was still focusing on Slaughterhouse and things of that nature. So I'm very happy that Slaughterhouse has music out there that people can enjoy, all the fans. We got plenty of mixtapes and albums. You guys can go and grab those if you don't have them. But right now it's about family business. It's about King Crooked Eye, about Crook's Corner, and things that we working on. You know what I'm saying? Horseshoe Gang, man. Horseshoe Gang. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know Boole. You know I've been playing that shit. Like you know, ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Something that always stood out to me though is like when you started doing Crook's Corner. Yes, sir. I was like, okay, yeah. I see you making. It was a pivot to mm-hmm. me. It was like you you always been obviously the MC, but when you start doing Crook's Corner, it kind of showed a different side of you that mm-hmm. I feel like as a friend and as a as a fan, I never got to see before. Like your take on certain things, not music. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. I mean, and that, like I said, I just think that, you know, that's one of my callings is just to engage with people. And Crook's Corner is something that we do. Like, it's a, it's a multimedia brand, but right now it's focused on just engagement in the rap community online. So, you know, we I ask questions every day. I try to find questions that the average person that's in hip hop would not ask. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have great conversations, great exchanges. It's a lot of game in them in them answers. If if the labels is out there being smart about it, and it's a lot of game. The people are telling you exactly how they want to consume music, exactly where they go to consume music, exactly how long they consume music. All the answers are there. So it's a mini uh, think tank for the for the labels. But um, you know, I'm thinking about taking it to radio, man. So mm. while I'm here, man, you know, what I mean, I'm with I'm with a couple of vets. All right, now. right, all right. You know I see saying? you. So while I'm here, you know, hey, we I might, like to, you might I have like, to, you might have to, yo, the Crooks Corner podcast might be a movie, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Think, we I have like to, to holler at Nori, you holler at Joe, man. You know what I mean? Hey, you, man, I'm on the West Coast, baby. West I want to, you need some on this side. I, we need that on this side. My whole thing is like from, all right, so look, man, you've been in the game a long time. You've been yeah. in the game a long time. Can each of you give me some advice? Before I step into that arena, what would you? What kind of advice would you give uh, me? Don't don't, uh, you know, depending on obviously what kind of audience you have, I would say don't expect it to set the world on fire right away. And don't and and let's say you do it for for two months and the numbers aren't where you where you might want them to be. Just don't don't worry about that. Look forward and mm. and just keep 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 knocking them down because you know uh, Paris wasn't built overnight and. Uh, you know, I see that with with a lot of people. They'll start a YouTube channel, and and if their shit don't go viral after a month and a half, they they just stop uploading content. Mm. And I'm like, that ain't how it works. All the huge people who 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 have success usually they do it for a year, and then something catches. Mm. You know, and so I would That's say, you know, game. just persistence, because you obviously have a built in fan base, and I feel like you you know, I feel like you got something to offer that world. So Damn, my G. yeah, I would say I would say trust. 
Right. Trust the universe. That's mm-hmm. the best thing I ever did. I mean, you know me from right. Long, long. Yeah, 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 so like for me, and you know what I was doing before, so right, it's like, right, yeah. I think once I let go of the wheel mm-hmm. and just let God take the wheel and let the universe just guide me in whatever way I'm going, right. I think that's when everything changed for me because I I think we get too caught up in trying to drive. Mm-hmm. And when you, you don't realize you in the passenger seat anyway. So it's just like reaching over, trying to grab the wheel and all that kind of <laughs> shit. That shit is whack. I just, I don't force nothing. I don't push nothing. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Everything right. what I do is I just put my hands up and wherever the wind blow me, that's where I go. Man, I thank you, gentlemen. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm dead serious. I'm dead ass serious, like, too. And I feel you on that universal talk because I, I like to wake up in the morning and, and, and just make sure that I'm open to, to, the, to the moment and to be conscious. I just ask myself, ask the universe, yo, just let me be conscious in the moment. If there's any opportunities out there that I might be blinded to because I'm distracted by regular life, mm-hmm. just allow my gut to feel it, let me yeah. move, you know what I mean? So I feel you, dog. Like, right, we got to vibrate. We got to vibrate. How do, you not, how do you not get distracted from, like, social media? Because I know you wake up because... I see the I see like you try to do your due diligence and reply to everybody mm-hmm. and you hit you really good actually at hitting people back, giving right. your honest opinion and responding to the bullshit when right. it come your way. Right. But how do you get up in the morning? Because I know you get the same shit as everybody else get. When's the slaughterhouse album coming? Why you do this? Mm-hmm. Well, what the blah blah like how do you not how do you not get taken to like I lose your focus over that? Well, I, I made a point a long time ago to follow inspirational people. So even if I get all those type of comments, Your when I scroll, my positive. feed is super positive. I got Dan Locke, v, Gary V, Eric Thomas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got all these guys, Dr. George C. Fraser. You know what I mean? Boyce White. I got all these guys. So I'm just getting good vibes when I'm scrolling in the morning because that's the first thing you feed yourself mm-hmm. in the morning when you wake up. You can't feed your mind negativity when you first wake up to start your day off. You know True. what I'm saying? So you got to have some positive. Now I, I have enough strength to fight <laughs> all of this wow comments coming down. Bro. Yo, why don't you just like, come on, man. Slaughterhouse is over. Why are are you asking me about slaughter? I can't direct those questions somewhere else. You know what I mean? I officially left Slaughterhouse on Instagram just so Instagram people wouldn't ask me about Slaughterhouse right. no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but I, I still see it on your shit. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> they gonna man, we're gonna take a picture today. How many? Un- <laughs> how many? Uh, <laughs> right. And, and it's gonna oh, be yeah. there. How many unreleased songs yeah. from the third album are? Because I know you guys. There's is there a lot of stuff with Just that never got yeah. released, right? There's a whole entire project with Just Blaze. Oh fuck, damn. Um, we 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 did a we did a slaughterhouse. But Dress Blaze uh, my favorite producer of all time, bro. We did a slaughterhouse of producers. That was the concept. Oh shit! So we had Just Blaze, we had Ill Mind, we Ill had so Cardiac, and we had the Justice League. Ooh! And oh, that Justice they League came shit together, was probably fire. and they would make the beats together. You know, somebody did the drum, somebody flipped a sample, somebody played some keys, somebody added to the drums, like somebody whatever, and they made these incredible joints. You know what I'm saying? And uh, me and Royce, we stayed in New York for a whole month just to get everything right. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, this entire album is very good. Um, It probably will sound a little... You could tell certain songs were made at a certain time, but there's a lot of classic, timeless music on it. And just leak it. Hey, you know what? To Pip. I'm gonna tell you this. Shade 45 or something. I'm gonna tell you this, and I want to say this publicly because me and you never talk about Slaughterhouse. Like we yeah. we haven't talked about it since right since since everything. But I want to say this publicly. When y'all did that, that like changed my whole shit. Because yeah. I mean, we you know we went on tour. Right. I was excited to go on that tour just because y'all was there. Yeah. On some real That's shit, and, and it was like because for me it was like the Avengers of hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, like was out there too. Yeah, I saw that tour in Boise, Idaho, man. What? Two thousand and nine. <laughs> I just posted that picture from the from the tour too. When we was with Tech Nine. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like that. That's what it meant a lot to me. That's dope. So That's you know. Dope. Anyway, Yo, um, I, I won't bring it up again, but I no, don't want to no, say. No, don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't. I don't get upset about it because it's a great chapter in my in my life. Yeah. Right? Of I mean, course, it's just it's just closed. You know yeah. what I'm, saying? Um, I'm, I'm cool with moving forward. You know, I, I'm trying to. I don't remember if the first time I heard you was on the Sway and King Tech CDs back in the day, or if it was when Suge Knight uh, tricked me into buying the Chronic 2000, <laughs> <laughs> and I bought that fucking. It was a double disc. Right? Yeah, you talking and there about was some that. Gu- there was some fucking guy on there that sounded just like Snoop, too. What was that guy's name? 
Uh, you talking about Top Dog? He's still around. Okay, yeah, that guy sounded that just like. I was like, there's a fucking fake ass rapper. Snoop on here. Who the fuck is this guy? Hey man, he, didn't say, he had a Sidney Fowler record or some shit on there. But yeah. that was the first time I, I want to say that was the first time I heard you. And and the first XXL cover, obviously not your your last XXL cover, was was with Suge and in, in, uh, in Left Eye and Corrupt. Um, you know, everybody's got their thoughts on Suge Knight and the death row process. But 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 you were in that weird era after. The glory days, per se. What's what's something, you know, during those days you could like maybe a story you could share with us, or what was the vibe like being around Death Row? I guess in that kind of weird era after Snoop and after Pac passed. A lot of money, um, brawls, shootouts, trips to Hawaii and the Bahamas, Benzes, jewelries. I mean, it sound. <laughs> It don't sound too grim to me. I mean, oh, obviously man. the shootouts is a fuck yeah. up. I mean, you might take that on. You might take the shootout on the chip without the, the shootouts shit. in the bullets. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> I mean, that's what it was. It was still um, a multi gazillion dollar company when he came out. Um, his first purchase, as soon as he stepped out as a free man, he bought a million dollars in vehicles. Um, Damn, I was making a bag. Um, you know, but it was a lot of drama surrounding it. And in, 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 the, in the industry, they didn't want to see Suge, in my opinion, ever prosper again. Come back, yeah. So they made a lot of moves to shut a lot of doors on the music coming out. And it was just like, yo, I'm cool. I'm in Hawaii, me, Ray J, you know, Keisha Cole. Damn. You know, we out there make music, riding on horses, you know what I'm saying? Renting wow. Harleys and drop tops and cruising around, having fun, you know what I mean? Doing whatever we want to do. Living like rap stars and, and, and R&B stars, but as far as the bad, as far as the bad go, but we wasn't putting no music out. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, we'll go to New York, get the whole top floor of the Four Seasons. Jay-Z will come by. I talk to Jay. That's cool. Nas will come by talk to Nas you know Tretch come through talking to Tretch it's like yo we in the game you know they all respect Death Row you know what I'm saying this is after this, this is after, after he this got is after out. Biggie and all this is after all yeah. that okay yeah, yeah yeah I mean you know what I'm saying he, he was well respect and I was surprised by that because you know I, I'm just fresh over here like okay we going to New York it might be some it bad might, boys. That's what that, I don't know right. what's going on. Right. I better have you know have my people over there have me straight when I get down there. You know what I'm saying? So, but I was I, to my surprise, man. A lot of people embraced Death Row in New York. You that's know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, we were hitting studio sessions, and you know the station of Angie Martina. It just it was very dope. Only problem was no music was really being released and when music was released his hands were very tied because the industry was like yo we can't allow him to come much back power. to come back again yeah. you know what i'm saying what was it like being around left eye during that her you know obviously that was a, a interesting time in her career as well left eye was a um she was like the, the house mother you feel me like with everything going on the crazy things at death row you know you would come in and one day some guy that you have a push-up contest with in the studio last night he's gone he's dead he's been killed that's how it really was at death row so the mindset of at at death row is death is around the corner you know what i'm Uh, saying uh. you feel like death is around the corner and it feels like it's perpetuated on purpose so we can sell records Mm. you know what i'm saying so it's left eye played that part like yo what are you eating what's in your diet do some something holistic. Here's some herbal tea. Yo, I'm bringing Dr. Sabi in to meet y'all so he could talk to y'all about nutrition. Yo, have, how's your mind state? You know what I'm saying? Like, she was the one that was there that was really helping us get through it all. You know what I mean? Like, on some motherly love. So, you know, I really miss Lisa. You know, it really crushed me when um, I heard about her untimely passing, man. And, you know, every time I look at that double XL cover, you know, I just remember the good times. We had a blast that day. And uh, I think that was the last professional shoot she ever did. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you talked about bars being, you know, wanting some smoke. And obviously the rap game is in a weird place right now. You know, it's more about the melody and more about the antics on Instagram. But there are some, some, there are some dope rappers still. For sure. You know, shout out to like YB and Corday. There's some yeah. real dope y- y- up Nate and coming Grant. guys. I like Corday. Who are yeah. you fucking with? This yeah. that's coming up. I like Corday. I like Grant. I like JID. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a few guys out there. I like Reason from TDE. Right. West Coast. You know, Carson. Carson in the building. I, I man, I bump his album like all the time. Um, 
there's there's some spitters out there. There always will be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We and, just, and to we be just fair, the, the top guys are, are spitters. Yeah, that's Cole, what happens. Kendrick. The top, the, the top, they feel like the top three slots or two slots will be spitters, three slots, and then it'll be about a hundred slots of the yeah. other. But we have to acknowledge that. You know what I'm saying? I I, I have no problem with Melody Rap. I mean, you know, Nate right. Dog is my homeboy. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, some could argue a lot of that stuff was kind of, you know, um, you got your boy Domino, the homie from the city. Yeah. That was melody rap. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this ain't new. Sweet potato pie. This ain't new. This, yeah. this you know, so I, why would I hate? I loved sweet potato pie when they dropped it. I had that on tape. I, when I was like drop. eight years old, I had that fucking single. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and we love that. So why would we hate now? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I, I have no hatred toward that. Like, I think that the conversation needs to change between the older and the young generation. I think, Facts. I think you know, we need to respect each other and sit down at the table. It don't need to be... You know, talking at people, talking down to people, talk to people. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. Some of the OGs that their approach, they need to change their approach. Hey, I'm so glad you you brought you said that because I we talked to Exhibit. I asked right. Exhibit, and I was asking him why is there no succession like they have in other regions? Like in in the South, we had Gucci up here, and I had to give Gucci his props because his tree is stupid. Yeah. His yes, tree, like, absolutely. And he got his hands on from Mike Will to Ray Schremer to blah, 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 to QC, blah. It's, it's, re it's ridiculous. Right. And so, and I just, my own personal opinion, and I took some heat for this, I don't feel like we have that in place out here on the, on, in, on the West Coast. Not in, in, more specifically in L.A. Right. Because, like you said, the OGs, it's kind of, it's a divide. It's a, right. It's a division. And Exhibit was saying that it's because of the streets and this and that. And Street I, politics, I and saw I, that. And I agree with that. But right. at the same time, I feel like, Y'all can overlook street politics to, to do records. Right. Y'all can look overlook street politics to do some business to make right. a dollar. Why right. it can't be the same thing to just, hey, you know what? I see what you're doing over there. I'm going to fuck with you. Hey, I you know what? People are comfortable with the way it is. And that's the problem. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I have a real it, problem with it, it. Me too, because you're right. His tree is crazy. You know, Dre's tree is crazy. And then that's pretty much where it stops. You know what I mean? Um, I seen Snoop get out there and try to do a lot for people, dog. Like a he lot did of people, try. He did a lot try. Of people don't with Doggy credit. Style Records and yeah, a lot of people don't try. credit him for that. You know, everybody in Long Beach can't be signed to Snoop Dogg, dog. Right. So you know, but we do need more of that unity and we need more of that torch passing and we need more of that recognition. Like even when they pass the torch to Kendrick, who of course everybody know, I, know, I think Kendrick is incredible. But when they pass the torch to him, you know, um, I think Game should have been mm -hmm. up there doing it. Mm -hmm. That's who I think. Should have been doing it because yeah. he because game is the one who had the West on his back at that at that point game for, 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 for some years. Eight years. No, you he, know no he was the West. I yeah, think. You yeah, he was, the only, he was so, the only guy. It's a lot. It's a lot of that type of you know little stuff on the West that I wish we could clean up because we got a lot of talent here. You know what I mean? And and we and we like the second large, largest market. We we should be. We should be birthing moguls, and, and it should just be way different, bro. I, and I think that to build on what you said about, like, not just not just game, game's not the only one. Yeah. It's a few, and I just be like, why it got to be like, I've actually asked people this question, and yeah. it's always a different answer every time I ask the same question. Industry politics, bro. All these fans want to hear certain people do collabs. They will never do collabs because when the collab goes down, the, the think and the thought process is, yo, what can this artist do for my artist? Yeah. If this artist can't bring anything to the table for my artist, I'm not doing that collab because... Or I ain't going to clear it. I'm yeah, y'all could go record it, it but yeah. it ain't going to come out. Exactly, because it, you have to benefit each other to get on a collab instead of it being a beneficial thing for music, the art. You know what I mean? So the art suffers. Yeah. We don't hear collabs, West Coast collabs. Exactly. We don't even hear the ones that would be fire. Fire. I never did a song with DJ Quick. Never. I've been on everything. I never did a song with DJ Quick. That's crazy. See what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, you know, we got to figure Damn. out how to always put the art first, and then everything else will figure itself out. Facts. I, yeah. yeah. I, don't point, wanna, I don't keep being a dead horse. I just... One thing I one thing I always said that I wanted to do, and because this is what I want to tell you, talk to you about too, because you was one of the people on the front line with us pushing everything that we was pushing right. some years ago. You know what I'm saying? You was one of the people who was very vocal mm -hmm. about 
this and that and you know certain people not like not that i don't even necessarily think it should be handouts right but if i see that's why in the position i'm in now every time i crack the mic i say west coast yeah for sure every single time yeah and the thing is i just want people to understand it's not just that it's it what it means to me because i'm coming in the game with a chip on my shoulder mm -hmm. i don't like how the ogs didn't embrace us right when we was coming up right. i don't like how certain people in position didn't be like you know what i i don't have to help you but i at least not acknowledge what you got going on over there right. for you to say reason for you to say core that that's big to them right and and that may not mean shit to you but to them that's everything you know right. what i'm saying well and i definitely I, make sure that i do that no you do that i know you know that's you know like you said i used to go spouting everybody like i was one of the first you know from the from the lyrical west coast rappers mm -hmm. to travel you know what Fact. i'm saying because a lot of people was like oh Kareb is really from philly yep. and things yep. of that matter yep. you know what i mean so me and raskaz was kind of the one Carson. going out you know what i mean to new york and talking and i would big up everybody that they didn't know about you know they be checking on my space looking like who is this person who is that person right. but i stopped be at be at a point because i noticed that when those people started coming up they never said my name mm -hmm. you Bad. see what i'm saying and it's just weird and, see, and that's where that cycle comes in and that's what creates what you're saying on the west coast because there's so many different weird politics it's like yo you know what i mean you, you i I'm in magazines big up in you guys because we all from the West, but you never say my name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now I make it a point to make sure that I say certain people's names, especially in the young generation. Yeah. Because they need to know that everybody who's been here, these veterans, they're not against you. Right. You know what not I'm saying? Everybody's not against everybody is against you. Mm -hmm. We with you. You know what I mean? We want to see you make it. I always tell them, if I come down on you on some skill level, it's because you saying you want money, right? Well, the best way to get to the money is longevity. So if you know your craft, Bar. you will always have a job in hip hop in the rap game if you have skills and you know well, your craft. It's like what Cole said on 1985. Like, I'm going to be here forever. Right. Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yo, it's facts, man. That is. KRS One right now doing shows. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Ice T. He's still doing shows. That's crazy. TV shows. <laughs> TV shows. But he just he just did right, right. Like one of those big stadiums. Yeah, he just no. posted and it's like, yo, this man was in the 80s. Yeah. You see Shit, what too I'm short, saying? man. Too short. Yeah. Too short, one of the That's coldest storytellers so ever. The whole thing is I want the kids to just focus on their craft because that creates longevity and you rather get a bag over the course of 20 years than, than one year. One, two years yep. and you out of here. And then you out of here. And we've seen that too. Trust and you me. in jail or you in, you know what I'm saying? Bunch Stop of going to shit. jail. Stop taking <laughs> pistols on to the airlines. <laughs> yeah, Why yeah, is like, everybody fam, doing that's been that? over like, for almost that's 20 years. be the years. dumbest. Who the fuck is bringing guns what to the airport that? anymore? I mean, they say they fall off a lever. I, I, I thought How it was. Oh, bro. Anyway, <laughs> well, yo, hip hop two weekly. things you always know where you, where it's at, especially if you got a girl. Your a phone, yeah, and, and a gun, and, and, and a gun, simple. and a gun. Man, <laughs> that's true. You know what I'm saying? If you hey. got a girl, you always know where your phone is at. Well, I got some game for y'all real quick with Bet. the phone, real quick. All right, so I want all my men out there to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? So you know, download the app that you count your steps. And if you get a certain amount of steps per day, it helps with your cardiovascular system. So with this app, you have to keep your phone with you at all times. At all times. It has to count your steps to the bathroom. You're just trying to be healthy. Downstairs. It's just Baby, strictly I'm just health trying to be healthy. healthy. I'm just trying to be healthy. <laughs> I'm just, to, I'm just trying to be the I best. Hey, I'm just right. trying to be Cam the best just, me. Cam just got married. Cam just got married like a month ago, yeah, thank you, about thank a month ago. I went man. to the to the wedding to witness, you yes. know, the, yes. the I debauchery. Saw, I saw you dressed up. The debauchery, up and, you know. Um, <laughs> so, but um, so that should be good advice for him, right? Yeah, man. I mean, I ain't hiding nothing. I ain't worried. Ah. I leave my phone around my girl all the time. With that being said, she won't, but, she, but she don't. Look <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, Hip Hop Weekly is back every yes. week, every Friday yes. on Spotify. Every Friday on Spotify, man. Hip Hop Weekly is back.